Good morning. It's just before seven. Clock to change. It's nice and light but cold. Got something different today. Look. I'm on the summer bike. How about that? Look at that sky behind me, look. Blue. And it is five past seven in the morning. And the wind's dropped. How good is that? So here's one for you then. That very first ride out on the summer bike. It's great, isn't it? You know, the summer bike, I mean, this one's a Planet X Pro Carbon. It's about eight kilos. And it feels like everything feels just so snappy, so fresh, so fast. Everything's light. You accelerate and it just goes. It's great. And you forget, don't you? Because it's been x months since you've probably ridden it so yeah today's the first uh first morning ride out on it so the plan this morning is a 15 mile loop get back just after eight o'clock have some breakfast and get ready for work One of the things that I do notice on the summer bike is it's very twitchy in comparison to the checkpoint, which uh, I think I touched on before, you know, it just handles brilliantly. But the summer bike, being all light and a bit more racy, it's a lot twitchier. But it is nice to be out on it, I must admit. I'd intended to go out on Sunday actually, but I've been struggling a bit the last couple of weeks. I uh, just felt really fatigued and I know it may not look like it from the vlogs, but I've actually not been riding as much in the last three months. I find it hard to get out. So it's one of my lowest years at this point in the year. I don't quite know if it's maybe slight after effects of the COVID jab or just, um, you know, that general fatigueness that some people have reported or whether it's just been a bit unfit, a bit grumpy from not being out and working too much. I don't know. I'm hoping that this week, We've got decent weather, the wind's dropped, which is good. We've got the sun coming out and we can meet some people. So I'm hoping that this week will mark me getting back on target with my mileage. Certainly hope so. So this loop that I'm doing is about 15 miles and I did it quite a lot last summer and it also makes quite a nice winter route. The road's pretty quiet. I'm lucky living where I do because I can be out in the countryside within like two miles of home. I'm just heading into a village called Ropsley, which is just east of Grantham. I got a long straight road ahead. There's a few of those in Lincolnshire. <laughs> so, amazingly, I think that if I upload this when I think I'm gonna upload it, it'll mark exactly one year since I did my first vlog. It wasn't my first video. I did one video about three months earlier when uh, I didn't talk. I was a bit reluctant to talk, but I just wanted to film something. But yeah, it was uh, today, exactly 12 months ago, I did my first vlog. I think I've mentioned it before, but 
Uh, but basically I think there's two people whose vlogs kind of influenced me to start. I guess Francis Cade, for definite. I mean, I, f I always find his, his content really good. Although he's been doing it a long time, he hasn't got boring, keeps it fresh. And the second one was Mark Frost. Mark Frost showed me that it's accessible. Vlogging is accessible. Mark's not a professional cyclist, and no won't, won't, won't mind me mentioning, but he's just an ordinary bloke that films his rides. And those vlogs, yeah, they were quite inspiring because it, made, it showed me that, yeah, basically anyone can do it. So over the year, I think I've learned a lot. Um, I've learned quite a lot about what to film, what not to film. And we definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't waste as much footage now as I used to when I started. And gradually, the editing process has got a little bit quicker. I'm still taking that generally an hour and a half to two hours, so per video, um, which I'd like to get down really. <laughs> but you know, sometimes I can spend a long while obsessing over some small little transition or a little bit of music to match the action. Probably too much. But still, keeps me out of mischief, doesn't it? So obviously, I started the vlogs in a lockdown period, and we're just coming out of one now. And I think when we started it, no one expected exactly 12 months on, we'd be just starting to edge out of the, of the third lockdown. So it's been an interesting year, really. There's a few people I'd like to thank for their support. I can't thank everybody, I'm sure I'm going to forget some people. But definitely, uh, I met up in the, in the autumn last year with uh, Richard Lake. And we've spoken quite a lot here and there. And he's another YouTube vlogger, I'll link his channel below. He's been dead supportive. The Wheelers, yee -haw! That's what Julie always does. Julie Wheeler and Mike Wheeler. They go out on rides, wheelers at large. I'll drop a link to their video below. Every time there's a tunnel, Julie does a yeehaw. I ain't got too many tunnels around me, but I need to find one. And I have got one in mind. And locally to me, my good friend Roy, ride with Roy, drop a link to his channel. It's been great to ride with him recently. He started doing a YouTube channel six months or so ago. A little bit different style to mine, but it's been really good to, uh, to ride with him and uh, you know discuss different aspects of vlogging, different aspects of video and he's an interesting guy to talk to so thanks for your support Roy and of course Mark at Cafe Alley you've seen him on a few videos now unfortunately don't get to ride with Mark as much as I'd like and uh, Mark is the closest fastest flat white in a bale of beaver and Mark's always been dead supportive of the channel too. So thanks also to you, Mark. Cheers, mate. But there's a little community of people who are not vloggers or they're not particularly well known and they regularly comment. So thank you to everybody that comments on the videos. I really do appreciate the fact that you're all watching. We're edging towards 800 subscribers now. Hopefully get to a thousand by the end of the summer, I'm hoping. Be nice too. Thank you also to the guys who recently have bought me a coffee. So I'm going to put a little, uh, a little scrolling display of names across the screen. If I can work out how to do that in the edit at least. But thanks fellas and it's really appreciated. And the money that is donated or sent to me there will obviously buy me coffee and cake when I'm out and about. But also it's going to contribute, or had contributed, to some of the cycling equipment and the filming equipment that I'd like to add to the channel for sure and certainly some of the current stuff that I've got you know it is time consuming to make the videos and I appreciate the comments when when you appreciate the videos so thank you again for that so it's going to be great over the coming weeks to be able to meet up we're going to be, I'm looking forward to meeting back up shortly with Dan, who we met in a couple of videos, planning some more rides together. And it'd be nice to actually go back to be riding with some groups. 
and certainly we're not too distant once the weather gets better I'm hoping to organize a little group ride if any of you viewers want to come along so I just mentioned Richard Lake a minute ago and I should let you know that he's just done an Everesting doing an Everesting anywhere is a major achievement but he's done it in Lincolnshire so although Lincolnshire has a reputation for being flat it does actually have hills especially where he lives around the walls but regardless that was a mega achievement Mr Lake absolutely superb mate well done so a few things coming up soon on the channel currently planning a ride on a tall bike and if you don't know what one is it's two bikes welded together one on top of the other could be interesting couldn't it and I'm hoping also in the spring to be riding a penny farthing for your viewing pleasure both of those slightly concern me both involve height could well involve falling from height mm, interesting so it certainly has been a crazy 12 months hasn't it <laughs> who knows what the next 12 is going to bring eh but hopefully we're going to stick to this road map out of it and get some sort of normality back it'd be just great to be able to ride with people won't it i'm really looking forward to that so anyway i'm going to see you again in a few days time thanks as always for watching the channel sticking with it over the last 12 months if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and if you're a subscriber really appreciate it thank you so much for all the support Thanks a lot, and I'll see you again in a few days' time. Bye.